Welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today we are going over the studio mode bonuses for AVA Unit 0 and AVA Unit 2, the two brand new AVA units. I must have said all their numbers and their names so many times already, but the brand new units coming into the game that are already here, and they've been here for a little while. I don't know why I'm acting like they have not come to the game yet, but they most certainly have. So, why are we looking at their studio mode stats? Well, we normally, every season when there's a new character drop, always take a look at their studio mode stats to see if it's worth your time investing in them in the studio mode. And it's doubly important this go around because studio mode is kind of important for the event a little bit. If you get your Ava Unit 0 to level, or I'm sorry, Ava Unit 2 to level 10 in the studio mode, you get the Kiryu skin. And if you get a thousand fans for Unit 2 in the studio mode during this month, you get an extra chance of unlocking her and also Unit 0. So, studio mode has some kind of importance in the event going on. These stats are not so important with the event. They're kind of independent, but the stats are good for your arena. So, do you want to invest in these characters or not? Those of you who have watched the video already know the answers because they're color-coded. So, for those of you who don't know, and we'll talk about it, because this will probably end up being a really quick video. We'll scroll all the way up, scroll to the left, boop, boop, boop. I got a color key right here. I've been color coordinating all the monsters that have highest attack boost, highest speed boost, highest health boost, highest ru uh, studio rush boost, which is like how fast you can do the studio mode battles. 25% star boost, right? How high up in uh, the highest amount of star of star boost you can get, unless tripping over my words. And then gold boost, the highest amount of gold you can earn, right? So, if you follow the color coding, actually, I don't even remember what my color codes are. Let me go back up. Blue is speed, green is health. We go down here to the new units, and look at that. Ava 0 has green, Ava 2 has blue, Ava unit 0 has a ton of health, and she needs it. Her shield mode, she negates 70% of all damage taken. That is a ridiculous number for her to be absorbing in terms of damage and for context the only other character the only other two characters that absorb damage like that are ava unit at least off the top of my head i'm pretty sure i'm right is ava unit one who when she's rushing with her at field up she takes 30 percent less damage and she completely negates explosion damage and the 10th angel that's coming to the game will also negate explosion damage but ava unit one has a 30 percent damage reduction when she's running and then the other character that I would even put in that category, I guess, is Jet Jaguar Singular Point. That when he has his spear up, he negates 100% of damage for only two hits. Unit, unit 0 will negate 70% damage. So the more health that she has, the higher level she is, the higher studio mode level she is, the more damage she can soak up and tank. Which is really, really good. Because then when she takes that bomb out and rushes to the leader, that extra health is going to give her a little bit more survivability to make it all the way to the end. And that's what you want out of her, especially. Good unit, good stats, right? If she didn't have this extra health in the studio mode, I would say maybe she's not worth taking up at all in the studio. But because she gets the extra health, which is way beneficial to her kit, this is going to be out of, I think, all of the Evangelion units, I think this is the most optimal one to level up so far in the studio mode. Keep in mind, we don't have Unit 8, and we don't have the 10th Angel, but I'm not talking about Angels here, I'm talking about Ava's. Ava Unit 1 doesn't really have anything really going for her in the studio mode, and Ava Unit 2 has Speed Boost, we'll talk about that just in a second, but Ava 0 with the Health Boost works really well in tandem with her kit, I like it a lot. So next, if we take a look at Unit 2, which is in the blue right here, and I'll just highlight, you know, SPD for speed. Uh, it brought me all the way back. That's weird. All right, cool. Speed. Ava 2 gets a 3% speed boost, making her one of the fastest characters in the game. Or not one of the fastest characters in the game, but the fastest speed boost in the game. Other characters that have this boost are Rodan. Uh, where Can you see him over here? Yeah, I went past him. Rodan, 64, Mothra, Leo, and Naranga, right? Naranga gets the speed boost, which is kind of funny. But Unit 2 also gets it. Now, I don't think this works really well for Unit 2's first form, the regular Unit 2, but this works really well with the Beast form. Beast form is fast and is, like, jumping all over the map, pouncing on other characters and stuff. So you want the speed so she can kind of get to the other characters faster, especially because she can stun. The Beast, when she does her pounce, will stun a unit. This isn't going to work against Earth or uh, Ultraman. But it will work against anything else. You can't Gigan 04 a Mothra Leo. With Unit 2 as the Beast, you can. So 
making sure that the beast can reach her objective before you know they make contact ideally i'm using the beast to stop like king caesars and mother leos and stuff or godzilla uh 89 but just having that speed boost on the beast will really let her latch on to units faster it can kind of be a detriment because her tracking is a little weird so she could run up too fast and like not do anything but just kind of get in the way and like accidentally tank which is not ideal but it, i mean it can happen she can also uh you can also use the beast to push characters i know a lot of people are using gigan 04 to push the fourth angel but you can use the beast to do it or not gigan 04 gigan 72 but you can use the beast to do it i've been using unit 2's beast form to push burning godzilla and it's low-key kind of slaps and then if you can time it right with gigan 04 in front of the beast and then the beast pounces when gigan latches on she can like launch gigan up the field so far like it's crazy so i don't like the speed boost on the base ava 2 ava 2 is fine but she's an evolution unit at the end of the day and she's not a uh like an on death evolution she's a timed evolution with 30 seconds so it takes a little while to get her up and running and she's not extremely good at defending herself her range is fine her damage is not that good so her being a pre-evolution with the speed boost walking up fast to the enemy is not ideal once she becomes the beast though and she's jumping on everything and pouncing on things and she's getting into the battle pretty quickly that's what you want that's where it excels i think it is extremely good on the beast i think it's a detriment to the first form which is unfortunate because you don't want to see you know some buff like this that you're investing to be fair a hefty amount of star points the final speed boost is at level what uh, 30 29 28 that's a lot of star points that is a lot a lot of star points to invest in a character and for it to be a detriment to half of that character's kit that's not totally great with me but positive is once she's the beast she doesn't go back to the regular form and the beast benefits a ton from it so that's what i got for you guys today really just quickly wanted to talk about that if you were at all debating upgrading your ava 2 at least in the studio mode past 10 you know you gotta you gotta let her level her up to 10 in the studio mode so you can get the skin for kiryu but if you were debating taking her further than level 10 i think that's a safe bet i think you're more than able to to take her up to 28 at minimum and feel pretty comfortable with that and then unit zero i have a feeling unit zero is going to be seeing a lot of play in the coming months as well as this season in particular i have her slotted in my deck instead of mothra leo and she's working pretty great i might be taking her up as well as well in the studio mode just because that health boost is really going to be something special and that 70 percent damage boost has saved or damage reduction has saved my ass more times than I can count. I think it's totally worth it. Both the, both these Evangelion units totally looking good in the studio mode. Got my seal of approval for a level up. Ava unit 1, not so much. And we haven't seen anything yet for Ava units 8 or the 10th Angel. And I will let you know about that when they come to the game in two weeks. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.